Hello there, Fourth Dimension Trading Time, Sean here. This is uh, the update on foreign exchange. Begin with dollar index futures. Um, pretty quiet week, really. Um, ended up just slightly higher. Um, still a while to go towards the close. Um, but it's actually the spot that matters. And uh, we've got that um, zone that begins at 105.88, extends down to 43. So it's going to take a close below there to say that this breakout higher is false. Euro dollar, um, slight recovery, pretty good considering what payroll was. And when we look at the futures, um, no support as such. Got that 106.74.5 level lurking above. Has been a positive on cable, uh, just ahead of that 2009 point. And when we go to the futures, similar story, but we have got a support at 120.50, which it held pretty much perfectly. So any short should really cover. And aggressive players can look to get long. Dollar yen uh, had a spike down that went directly to 47.31, held it perfectly, um, but uh, was trapped now between um, that level and 150.18 above. Euro yen, um, pretty quiet really, uh, trapped. Dollar Swiss. Um, uptrend ended uh, the week before, so we're stuck in sideways. Aussie dollar got a negative on Monday. Um, no, not much in the way of follow through though. When we look at the futures, it's just about hanging in there, isn't it? Uh, let's look at the level. It's at 63.03. Kiwi also pretty quiet. Um, we've got a positive midweek, but not at support. It's going to have to uh, take out 60.50 to turn us positive. Dollar CAD received a negative on uh, Thursday, so longs should be booking some profits, uh, but we are bang smack in the middle of the range. And on the um, futures, uh, we've got the opposite signal. Um, support 72.46. Finish up with Euro Pound and uh, very, very quiet. Okay, thank you.